Yo, what up gamers, I'm Pro Dark, a Master Tier ADC, and you're watching my guide to Lucian. For runes you'll want to run Presti Attack, Presence of Mind, Legend Bloodline, Coup de Gras, Magical Footwear, and Biscuit Delivery. BTA works well with Presti ADCs, and Lucian has extra synergy with it via his passive, which will allow him to proc it with extreme ease. Presence of Mind is good even despite building Essence for a second item, because Lucian is so mana intensive that even having Presence of Mind only help you until the 20 minute mark still makes it insanely valuable. That being said, it does become pretty useless after that, so Triumph is an option as a rune for superior scaling if you hate the idea of having a rune that eventually becomes obsolete. Although you'd have a better early game with Legend Alacrity, you'll have no lifesteal if you don't go Legend Bloodline, so you absolutely need that for the insurance to have some healing in the mid to late game. Coup de Gras is the most consistent ADC rune in its tree, but Cutdown is also an insanely strong rune that should be taken whenever the enemy team has HP stackers, as you'll get some pretty insane damage numbers from it. Finally, Lucian doesn't have amazing choices in other trees, so you'll default to Magical Footwear and Cookie Delivery, for the great value in free boots and the sustain and mana provided from cookies. At this point, I would like to remind you to subscribe for more ADC guides and general educational ADC content. For your mythic item, you have the choice of either Guild Force or Kraken Slayer. As of the Guild Force nerf in 12.7, you'll probably want to use Kraken Slayer in the majority of your games, but when ahead, you may be able to snowball your lead more effectively with Guild Force, especially against squishy comps, using it to burst enemies and force plays. For second item, you'll typically want to go Essence Reaver for the insane mana sustain, and the CDR, as Lucian is a champion greatly reliant on cooldowns. However, alternatively, you can build Collector Second, since it also synergizes with Lucian's bursty nature and can enable you to just straight one shot squishies with ease. You might want to consider this against comps liking tankiness. For third item, you'll definitely want Infinity Edge due to its massive power spike, and then your choices are a variety of situational items, consisting of Lord Dominic's Regards or Cyrilda's Grudge for dealing with armor, Guardian Angel or Bloodthirster for survivability, Law of Manvortius for survivability against AP Burst, Multi Reminder for anti heal, Fire Cannon Collector or Navori for raw damage, Mercurial Scimitar for the QSS active, and Serpent's Fang for anti shield. You can start W to give your jungler a stronger leash, or if you want to level 1 all in with an engage support. Q start is the best for regular trading, and the E star can be good to dodge crucial skill shots during level 1 trades, and will still give you decent damage by being used as an auto attack reset to give you a fast BTA proc at level 1. Then, always max Q first, followed by E, followed by W. Lucian works best when paired with supports that give him easy vigilance stacks. Supports that provide heals and shields such as Nami, Sona, and Yumi will enable him to deal far more burst and DPS than he would with other supports, and the lower the cooldown on their empowering abilities, the better. Besides that, there's nothing you particularly want to avoid in terms of supports. You just want to make sure that you're playing with enchanted supports as much as possible, especially those mentioned. That's going to be it for my Lucian guide. Make sure to subscribe to see future guides and all my educational ADC content geared towards helping you climb in the ADC role. Until next time, gamers.